and get it started. Hmm. And maybe a quick show of hands. Um, is there anybody that this is your third time with us in these little Zooms? So yes. we've done three weeks in a row, a couple folks. Um, all right, I see some hands up in our little digital gallery there. Okay, anybody, is this your second time? So you joined us at least once previously. That's great. Um, anybody, is this your first time? Give us the war number one. All right, Stephen and Russ, <laughs> glad you're with us. Um, yeah, it's been... Fun on our side, uh, Jocelyn's done a wonderful job just kind of getting all this arranged and set up. Um, I've been kind of the cheerleader on the sidelines, helping out a bit, but she's really taken the lead and it's done a wonderful job. Thank you, Father. Yeah, we're excited. Um, Father and I have been talking a little bit about um, just like what's, what's gonna come in the future. And I'll mention it again in the end for those that are coming in right now, but the hope is to like, I guess we haven't fully decided if it's going to be another four week, like back to back prayer together, or uh, if it's better to meet once a month, that way we have it more like consecutively. But um, I think we're going to take a summer break. Father has a lot of retreats to give this summer and I have an adventure in August through September. So uh, the hope is to get together again, October 3rd. And then we'll let you guys know, like, if it's every week for October or um, October and then November and December once a month. Um, so we'll let you guys know. But October 3rd, put it in your calendars, meet again mm -hmm. um, and pray together. So, yeah. Should we get started, Father? Let's cool. do it. All right. So welcome, everyone. We'll have the same little layout, but for those who are visiting us for the first or joining us for the first time uh, we're gonna open up in a quick little prayer and then I'm gonna jump straight into reading today's gospel for the day and there's a short little reflection each week I've been trying to connect the gospel and just our own prayer lives to a different mystery of the rosary and today I want to connect it to the luminous mystery the wedding feast at Cana and um, after that yeah, just like reflect a little on the wedding feast at Cana and just Mary and Jesus and what happened there and then uh, leave some space and some time for all of you to be able to share any prayer intentions that you would like for everyone here to be praying for throughout the upcoming week and in the near future. So let's get started. I was thinking that we can start with a uh, Hail Mary, um, praying that together and then We'll jump into the gospel. So if you guys wouldn't mind joining me in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the Now and in the hour of death. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you loved them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That's a beautiful... 
first of all, that's a beautiful gospel. <laughs> like, I just want to pray. I just want to oh. go pray with just the gospel itself. And I was just, there was one specific line um, that reminded me of, Father, can you say your um, Catholic riddle? Yes. Uh, little tongue twister. Ready? The body of Christ gives the body of Christ to the body of Christ to make the body of Christ more like the body of Christ. Got it? Yeah. Wait, can you um, break it down? <laughs> One more time. Ready? The body of Christ Jesus gives the body of Christ the Eucharist to the body of Christ the church, us, so that the body of Christ the church, us, becomes more like Jesus. Tongue twister. Yes, we'll talk to us there, but um, I feel like there was a point where I, as I was reading the gospel, I was like, oh, okay, like this feels like Father Father Joe's um, little tongue twister because like that's what Jesus is saying. It's like, Father, they don't, they they might not know fully your love, but they get to know me here right now. And I hope and pray that they can know you because of the time that they're spending with me. Um, and... Um, yeah, so that was just a, a little side tangent that I was like, oh, wait, Father, share your riddle. Um, or not your riddle, <laughs> so share your words of wisdom. <laughs> but anyways, connecting this to the wedding feast at Cana, there are a couple things that came to mind and uh, a couple things that I wanted to share with you all today. Um, so one of, one of the things was how at the wedding feast of Cana, um, at Cana, Mary is continuing to say her yes, her fiat, by one, being so attentive that she notices like, oh, the, the couple is running out of wine. Um, like, and what is going to happen now if like, I don't act like in this moment is that like, they're going to be embarrassed. And um, like, I don't want that. And you like, you see how like her, her heart cares so much for this couple that like she's at the uh, party of, but celebrating this love of this couple. But I don't know why it's echoing. Sorry. Um, so you see first like how attentive she is and how she like acts right away. Um, which in a way is like laying her intercessory prayer and how she like continues to do that for us. Like she continues to like always see us even before we like go to her in prayer and asking for her intercession she's already attentive to our needs and to our hearts and she's ready to go to her son jesus and be like hey if jocelyn has this in her heart will you pay special attention to her because her heart is tender right now like the way that she's able to present those intercessions to her son is so beautiful and um Another thing that stuck out to me is just the part where uh, she says, do whatever he tells you to um, the servants that were there, that were going to fill the jars with water, the jugs with water. And um, we know that like Jesus responds in this like super generous and abundant gift. Like he wasn't just like, oh yeah, I'll give you a couple, couple jars or jugs of, of wine. He gives them so much wine. Like the gift is so much bigger than um, than anyone could have imagined. And those are two things that that came to mind. Uh, and two things that like I wanted to share because connecting them to my own life, I was telling Father Joe last week that uh, my parents, or specifically my dad received news from the doctors that like there's a potential that he has lung cancer and that it could be spreading to different parts of his body. And so at first, like hearing that news was like super scary as a daughter and um, just like thinking of the future and like the near future, like the further away future and just this so much unknown and so many questions, right? For the doctors and for how my dad might be feeling or um, what we're gonna do as a family, or like how are we gonna take care of him? All these different questions. And um, and then I like took the time to sit down in prayer and just like 
sit with the Lord and be like, okay, I'm scared, but I know that you called me to not be afraid. Um, like, how do I trust you during this time? And what are you asking of me right now? Um, as my family's, um, as my parents' daughter and as my sibling's sister, as my niece's aunt, like, what do you ask from me? And the first thing that came to mind was peace. Like, I invite you into a greater sense of peace. And in that peace, like, there's trust. In that peace, you see the trust that you have for me um, who's taking care of you. Like, those are the words that I, like, heard from him, and it was so beautiful. And um, and then, like, I was just reminded of how, like, his promise is always an abundance of love. Like, whether that love comes in the way that I, like, expect it or not, or the ways that we expect it or not, like, like his response to us bringing our hearts to him is like, I love you and I desire to give you love. And that love usually like portrays itself through peace. And um, I got to go to adoration the day that um, my family told me about my dad. And as soon as I sat down, I was just like, peaceful like I could just like breathe peacefully the like anxiety that was in my heart like kind of just like went away for the hour that I was there and uh, when I was reading through like the wedding feast at Cana and just like that interaction between Jesus and his mom Mary I was reminded of the peace that I felt when I was in adoration and how I was like okay right now I can be here and I can expect the gift of peace from the Lord because he desires to give that to me out of the love that he has for me and tomorrow will take care of itself and the future will come once it comes and like we will see what happens with my dad but right now like there is peace and like I trust God because I trust the love that he has like shown me time and time again and I was like okay like I will do whatever you tell me <laughs> basically which is really cool um so that's my prayer intention for all of you guys please for my family and for my dad um yeah so we're just waiting for different tests to be done and to see just what comes up in those and then we'll do whatever comes next but yeah so continue to I think first ask the Lord for peace and also um, not be afraid to like continue to direct your heart to him in everything in the things that like bring you the most joy and things that are scary to approach and to be in front of and to continue to ask like okay lord what do you need me to do and where are you calling me and how can i continue to trust but that's what i have for for that little bit of reflection mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I want to hear all of your guys' prayer intentions too. <laughs> and again, we can throw them in the chat and Father and I will read them as they come in, but you can also uh, unmute yourselves and share them out loud with the rest of us. I wanted to pray for um, people who suffer from chronic illness, um, chronic inflammation, and I also wanted to pray for people, um, Christians in the Holy Land. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. I would like to pray for all people, young people that they are just in exams, at least uh, here in the UK. And, um, and they're just uh, definitely just uh, the state exams. So their, their future is in those exams. And if by any mistake they are just very nervous or they get just a bad day, there is nothing. Mm -hmm. So I pray for calm mm -hmm. and peace, the peace of the Lord in their hearts during all the time that they are going to study, and especially during the time of the exams. And let the Holy Spirit to lead them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mary, Sister Mary, and then Priscilla. Oh, you're muted, Sister. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 
Thank you. I would like to pray for uh, uh, the peace in our world. Uh, too many wars going on, too many un unrest. Peace in the hearts of individual, peace in communities, mm -hmm. peace in the whole world. Uh, and then some people are, are suffering from a natural dis a disaster, especially flood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we pray that the Lord will come to their help and grant us the peace that all has to be open mm -hmm. to the peace of Christ. Yeah. Hey, Lord, in your mercy. Your mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. Priscilla? Yes, I like to pray for my uh, parish, our in our personal worship of prayer. Hopefully, become more stronger uh, establishment in our parish, and I like to uh, share just a little reflection. Okay. Um, this is the third time I'm doing it, but it's very short time. I mean, it's a short session, but I'm getting a great benefit of it. <laughs> I feel a lot of you know big strength, a lot of strength, and then I feel like it's a, it's all like we are all connected each other mm -hmm. in prayer. So it gives me a lot of strength. So it's um you know it's great to go on. Thank you. Praise God. <laughs> and then we also pray for um Carla as for continues continued prayers for um accepting God's will with regards to um recent terminal illness diagnosis. And for Denise who prays for her nephew who has who was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. We pray to the Lord. I would also like to ask for prayers for myself uh, as I'm going through a very difficult moment. And uh, first of all, to give thanks to the Lord and our lady and St. Joseph and uh, I've been stopped from work since uh, last year. So it's by the mm. grace of God um, living. And uh, in that process, I have to lose my flat because I'm no longer working, I can't pay. And but, um, it happened that I was wrongly accused. So I know mm. the initial time I said to a lady that uh, whatever happens, she will always take the victory. Whether I'm dismissed or I'm let in, she will take the victory. Then at the point, the sister leader said, actually, if they dismiss me, you will have a greater victory. And then from nowhere, a lady called me to come to Lourdes in the midst of that chaos. And then mm. um, I, I went to Lourdes and uh, the devil was the liar of the obstacle placed on my part. But finally, as you know, I lived all these victorious. I, I reached loads and I, on my way back, the same thing. But then after I came back from loads, within one month, I was dismissed from the, from my job in hospital. Hmm. And um, they kind of, kind of undermined me that, oh my God, with, well, uh, with a salary, and she know that solicitors are so expensive here in London. Mm. And um, they undermined me that she won't get anywhere because they are in big positions and the hospital, they are the heads and everything. Mm. And I'm just a little thing working on them. So they, they kind of undermined me not knowing that I got a powerful mother who is very victorious. And in that process, it was really, really a struggle for me to get a solicitor, for me to get a, a barrister. And finally, at the last minute, I let you just bring this solicitor and a barrister within a, an, mm. an hour of my real desperation because I have to mm. take a, a kind of fill the document to the, to the tribunal because it's three months minus mm. one day. And not mm. knowing that being that I've never done that before, I didn't do them well. So the mm -hmm. when finally it was served on my employer and the hospital said, oh, the solicitor said it was nowhere served. And so the 
for yes. Jesus to kiss. Yes, and, and you prayers prayers for you and yeah, um, please weird. pray for me yes. and thank our lady because she has been she put the case on and then uh, the case is going on and yes, yes. the way it should be. And in this month of Mary, we are grateful for Mother Mary's care. Uh, Jocelyn, again, thanks for your holy words, inspiring us, um, and your honesty and trust with our little prayer group here. Um, briefly, I'll share in the chat that, yes, we'll be here back next week. Um, same Zoom time, same Zoom code. And then again, mark your calendar, um, Thursday, October 3rd, same time, same Zoom code. Um, details to come, but we'll see you all again soon. Um, maybe Jocelyn, do you want to conclude our time? And for, if folks want to stick around and chat further, we're happy to do that. But also, we promised you a short and sweet prayer, and uh, Jocelyn can wrap us up. Yes, thank you. All right, let's close up in a prayer in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you so much for the gift of this time that you have given us to share with each other. Thank you for um, the words in the gospel and for the truth in every single one of those words that we heard here together. And we just pray that you continue to guide us closer to your heart, that in your heart we may receive the love that you give to us as a gift and that you have for each one of us. And we just ask for our Blessed Mother's intercession throughout the rest of this month and the rest of our lives, that she may continue to always be attentive to our hearts and to see us um, and our needs and to be able to bring those to you, Lord. We pray all of this in your most holy name. Amen. 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 Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Yeah, and we will continue to pray for you. I'm trying to do. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you, Father. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sister. Thank you. We Thanks, see Carla. Tom Schneid out there, one of our most faithful <laughs> apostles of prayer. Other folks, sister, always a joy to have you. Thanks for praying with us. Thank you. I was late. I, I just came back with the priest. We went out for a healing uh, ministry. So oh. <laughs> just come back now. So, yeah. Mm. So, thank your, you. Your veil yeah. is so pretty. What color is that? Like light blue or teal? Okay. This yeah. is it's white and blue. <laughs> right. The, do, do, the daughters of divine love. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we are there in America. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Father. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. God bless. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good night. See you next week. Good for night. night. Good yes. night. See Blessings. You yeah. Thank you, Mary. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Agatha, always good to see you. Um, Did I get the time wrong? I know I came in a bit. Well, I, I worked it out that 3 p.m. would be 9 p.m. here. Or... <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a hard time with that, too. I have to, like, write it down or look at a chart, but it gets confusing. <laughs> yeah. So it's 3 p.m. Central Time. For the U.S., yeah. Yeah, and, and then we do daylight savings here, so I don't know if every country does that. but Yeah. Because you're, are you in London? No, you're in. I'm in Scotland. Scotland. Okay. I mean, but the time is the same. It's GMT. It's just. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. That's right. So now, in fact, we have about nine, nine twenty-five. Yeah, and here's three twenty-two. Okay. Yes. So next time, nine p.m. Nine p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. I just want to thank you for doing this. Um, yeah. This is yeah. my first time here. I missed the other two oh. sessions. Is there any way I can have the recording or no? Yes. Um. So on our YouTube page, yes. the Pope's Prayer Net, Pope's yes. Worldwide Prayer Network, um, they're both up there, and then this okay, one will good. also be up there. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. I love that network. I mean, I I just love it. I can't tell you how much I love it. I love the Pope, and I love everything you do. You guys are amazing. Well, things we're so write, glad you're with us. The things you write, they're beautiful. <laughs> I I have click to pray, and I also have the rosary you know that the pope mm. did, you know, 
I forgot what I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's just just mm-hmm. beautiful. I can't tell you. Thank you for your ministry. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye-bye. Good news. Bye. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You guys are great. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Thank you. Angela, thanks for your